Hello, my name is Christina Yu. I grew up in Chicago, Illinois, in the heart of the Midwest. Um, I work in several areas of this profession called architecture. I'm a professor of architecture at the University of New Mexico School of Architecture and Planning. I'm associate dean for curriculum at University College at the same university. And I'm also principal and architect with my own company called McLean and U Architecture and Design here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. At the university, we're one of many, many players who intersect in the curriculum of architectural design. This is a professionally regulated uh, discipline. Therefore, um, all of us try to prepare young students for a very rigorous set of studies and eventually a very rigorous career in helping to build the um, cityscape, the ruralscape of buildings where people will inhabit these buildings for not only a generation, but many generations. My typical day starts at six o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> I am at the office uh, uh, getting ready to prepare for the architectural projects uh, that I need to respond to. At noon, I get myself prepared to head over to the university, uh, a big deal. Um, usually have a set of agenda for uh, my students and myself for the day and for the week. And from one o'clock to five o'clock, uh, we implement a lot of design critique. We go over a lot of design uh, designs that the students have created and I get to sort of respond to them. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity to sit down together, uh, to look at ideas, look at examples, have a really meaningful, hopefully, conversation together about the nature of their design work. Of architectural design is a very interesting subject because it's not like a set of test questions that they could answer. It's actually the completeness of synthesis of uh, at least 50 different content areas. So there's a multitude of areas that will be looked at in greater or lesser emphasis, depending on the year that a design student is in. And that ends up being the way we uh, grade our comprehensive quality of any architectural project. I come from a very economically humble family. We didn't have a lot of resources. Um, therefore, I grew up in a pretty dense neighborhood in an apartment building. I wouldn't even say it's a complex because this, it was a series of very densely, highly dense apartment areas in the middle of Chicago. And from our small uh, apartment window out the kitchen and uh, the, my bedroom window, I would see the skyline of Chicago many, many miles away. That was probably about seven miles away from my window. And every morning, every evening, I would look out that window and be like, I want to be a part of that. That's when I started building upon the dream of participating and helping to build that. Uh, I remember distinctly, though I may not have been the most uh, high performing high school student in architecture school, I definitely rose to the, the ranks. I was so excited to be in school, finally to do what I had pointed at uh, from a distance. Um, and there were professors and teachers there to really take that interest of mine and to push it forward in ways that I couldn't ever have imagined from that bedroom. So they told me in the third year in college, like, you need to travel. Like, don't even come back <laughs> for the fourth year. I went away and had multiple internships during my undergraduate year. All of these experiences, not only coupled with academia, uh, really pushed my ability to invest in an identity in this profession. And at, at that point, I was pointing not at downtown anymore. I was pointing at the world, and I wanted to be a part of that. And so I had the opportunity to intern and travel all around the world. And uh, after graduate school, um, ended up working for 10 years outside the country. 
And that's when academia called me back and said, hey, would you like to come back to the US and teach a lovely handful of students? And I said, wow, I think it's a good time to think back about coming back to the States. So that allowed me to, with uh, a great deal of professional experience, uh, allowed me to teach from the perspective of real life professional building context back at the university. And from that perspective, uh, then I was pointing at something else after that. I was pointing on, I want to have a career that has equal foot in the profession and in academia so that I could push forward architectural agendas at both levels. And so that is what I've uh, developed and uh, a goal set around that, um, where that's some of the hat, hats that I wear today. Uh, I do time with students uh, engaged in academic thought uh, during the week, and then there, my other time is spent here in the architectural office. So I had the lovely fortune for a state institution to call me back from Germany. Um, and as an American citizen, I'm like, uh, yeah, I think I need to go back at some point. Uh, it was a great opportunity to um, engage young people again. I, I felt like I had something to say to the younger generation. And academic pursuits are such that um, I am but one of 28 faculty of architecture. Therefore, we teach every single uh, architecture candidate in the state of New Mexico who are educated here. Therefore, we, we can start to have a very rich conversation about the kind of architecture that can exist in New Mexico. I think there is a strength to regional identity and what we can do to collectively build that identity and build it through the built environment the buildings as the artifacts of, of that identity. And in that way, that was a, uh, an important choice for me and my family to be able to start working to craft that with the community. What a great question. What am I looking forward to? The future is always, uh, for me, something brighter um, and wonderful to start planning today. Um, and at this stage of my career, it's also uh, not nearly at its end. So uh, there's a lot of planning and thinking going on, obviously, to have a greater impact regionally, if not nationally, from both the, the practice within academia, but the practice within the profession of architecture. Uh, that's what I would aspire to uh, attain further. I hope those ears and eyes that land on this video would imagine that they could participate in a career in architecture in the built environment. I would strongly urge if this message is tugged at you in any sort of way that you would visit us, of course, at the University of New Mexico. I hope you would find me. <laughs> you can easily find my email online and let me help fuel that spark that you might have for this profession, for this, the art of making buildings, um, because I would love to do that. We need you to participate in building our culture, our community, and a place, a meaningful place for the New Mexicans to inhabit and to work in and to study in. I want you to participate in building that building.